Kavi, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate you being here today. You know, we, we want to celebrate success with our students. We've done a thousand plus deals, so it's just nice for us to be able to watch other people get started and get their businesses growing. It's exciting for them. Thank you. <laughs> Kavi, what do you what do you do for a living? Well, um, I was an attorney um, for a while. Well, for 14 years before I started doing real estate. What kind of attorney? Immigration and uh, criminal and personal injury. Now you said before you started doing real estate, did you start with when you joined us or was it before that? I started about, I'll say about a year before I, I joined you guys, but I wasn't doing it full time. I was just like learning, doing the education thing. So that was basically all I was doing was learning. And then we had one flip before actually two flips before I uh, met you, uh, but I wasn't really heading it up. It was just a general contractor that brought me the deals and then he did his thing and that was basically it. Did you make any money on those early deals? The first one we did, um, the first one we made, uh, it was three of us, me and my brother-in-law who don't know anything about real estate and then the general contractor who brought us the deal. Um, we made about $100,000 on each one, right? So we did really well. Uh, but again, we didn't know anything, right? We just so, sort of like, you take care of it. Uh, and then it ended up being, he sort of ripped us off a little bit because um, we didn't know anything about rehab. We started out with an agreement, but we didn't really have anything in writing, which as an attorney, I was like, why didn't I get anything in writing? <laughs> yeah, copy. Copy, come on. <laughs> I said, why? So it was supposed to be, everything was supposed to be split in thirds. Right. And then by the time, you know, the money came through, all of a sudden his cut became third plus my uh, general contractor fee on top of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it ended up being like $90,000. So he ended up walking away with about $200,000. We're sitting there going, we just got ripped off. <laughs> you know yeah. Where did your money fee go on that? If he got money for contracting, you should have gotten interest on points on the money. Yeah. Didn't know any of that stuff, right? We got screwed. Like we just, it was a bad, but we didn't know anything. Expen <laughs> expensive lesson, but you learned yeah. it, right? Well, I thought I learned it. Then the second flip we got into um, was again from another general contractor that brought us the deal. And this time, this is before I, I got into your, your course. Um, I think we signed up for it. We signed, we got into the deal. I got into your course. And halfway through the, the deal was whenever we did the whole um, onboarding and, you know, the, yep. the three right. day boot camp, right? Boot camp. And then I came out and I'm like, man, I'm, a lot, I'm making a lot of mistakes, you know? Um, and then we ended up losing $40,000 on that deal. Okay. Wow. So that was, that was, that was pre, pre Vester Pro. Yeah, it was a pre Vester Pro deal. And then that in the middle, I found out I was making a lot of mistakes because yeah. of that, so because of the course. And again, I didn't do scope of work. I didn't have any of those worksheets. I didn't do any of that because I didn't have that before you guys. And then Myra, you know, the real estate coach you guys give us, she was instrumental in, in, in she saved the deal because we would have lost way more money. I'm talking about we would have lost way more money. So for us, losing only $40,000 was like... <laughs> it was a small win. So let me ask you, have you have you had any success with other properties since then, yeah. since you joined us? After that, the Lake Stevens deal was right after, you know, the field, the, the one we lost money. And this time, we were prepared. We vetted our contractors, we used your worksheet and vetted our contractors. We got a very good general contractor that we use today like he he does all our clips now yep. so we, and then we did the home evaluator it was pretty i followed the whole step so look at the outside of the house and all that stuff to come up with the calculations of what i think it's going to be the rehab and then after that um we use that to get the scope of work and then get the hard money so it was really smooth um it was like the most it was the smoothest flip i've ever been involved in we got in, we went in and out two months Sold it. Uh, we made sixty thousand dollars. Congratulations! Nice. That's great. Good job. Yeah, huge. I mean, just the forms, the documents alone was just is life saving. Like that was it. It kept us on schedule. He, the general contractor, knew exactly what paint to use, what um, you know, what we wanted, what fixtures we were going to use. 
it kept us ahead of the general contractor so that we weren't blindsided by anything and there was no surprises anywhere. We kept a budget and we stuck to the budget. You can thank Amber for that because she designed all that. She ran all the contractors, so she's the one you want to thank for that. She's the one that put that all together, so yeah. But yes, that, that was very life-saving for us as well when we were in the trenches with that. I'm curious though, now that you have some perspective, you've, you've done a few deals in real estate, how do you see your future as a real estate investor versus how you saw your future if you had stayed an attorney? I remember as an attorney, I was working minimum 60 hours, but you know, I was working about 60, 70 hour weeks, right? I was really stressed out. I was going through a lot of depression for the last two years. They uh, diagnosed me with um, extreme uh, depression, right? And, uh, and uh, manic depression and all that. So I had, I was going through a lot in the last two years. I hated my life. I wasn't spending time with my kids. My, I got kids and I didn't see them. Like my kids were like, he's working all the time. Saturdays, I'll be meeting clients. Two, three o'clock in the morning, I, I get clients without my phone number and they'll be calling me, right? And I'll be sleeping and I'll wake up because I'm like, oh, I missed the deadline. Uh, you know, because if you miss a deadline as an attorney, that's malpractice, right? So <laughs> I missed the deadline. I'm, man, I was always tense and always stressed and always scared about something. Now, man, it's night and day. I volunteered at my kids' school, very first time ever as a watchdog. So my kids were really, really excited about that. I spent the whole day at their, at their school, uh, went to classes with them. Never did that before. We're taking vacations. I actually wake up when I want to wake up. <laughs> I'm sleeping eight hours, seven to eight hours a night, which I know to regular people that's not, you know, that's not special. But for me, I was sleeping like four hours before that. I'll say for the last 14 years, I was getting like four or five hours of sleep a night. What drives you to keep doing what you're doing? My family. I spend, I mean, my wife has a nine to five. And before I was literally jealous of my, I don't know what other word to use, but I was jealous that, the, that she had a nine to five and she could come home and forget about her job, right? Now, I mean, we joke around, the kids, are attached to me more than her now because I'm always around. I take them to school, I pick them up from school. I take them to all their events. I'm, a, I'm at every single event that they do, it's me, not her. So I have more freedom, time freedom, to spend time with them than my wife does now. <laughs> the flip I know is being taken care of because we have those things in place. So, you know, I mean, my Lake Stevens house, I think I went to the house like four times. So you visited your flip four times four. <laughs> and made it made 60 grand. Yeah, four times, <laughs> like, <laughs> which is crazy. I, I'm, I'm sitting here kind of having a little bit of an aha moment and I'm, I'm really proud of you because there's there's so many people that change careers or, you know, even even they get into real estate and it's and it's all very financial and they their life does change because their finances change and it does give them more freedom and choices. You've kind of taken that next level though. You went from this manic depressive state to being, having this joyful disposition about you now. I mean, I see it written all over your face. Yeah, it's changed. I'm, hel I'm healthier, I'm happier. My wife tells me all the time, I'm a lot, she, I'm a lot happier uh, than I've ever, she like, would you ever go back and be a lawyer? I'm like, no. This to me is the American dream. When you come to America, the American dream, what your parents tell you is you go here, you you follow the American dream, right? You go to school, education, education. You work hard, work hard. So I did the whole thing. I went to school, got good grades. I did the whole, went as far as I can in education. It's either two, you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer. I did that. I became a lawyer. You know, I, I did, I went as far as I can in education, right? Got my JD, my MBA, got every degree I could possibly get. And then I worked hard and all it did is just basically, it kept me in the rat race, right? It just, I kept working more and more and more and more, but I had no time to do anything. Um, and now, you know, with, with this education, my kids, no, they're not, I don't think that's the American dream. The American dream is, time freedom, to be able to have time to spend with your family and still not have to worry about your finances. What do you think you've made then in, in projected profit and actual cash profit so far as you've been with InvestorPro? Actual profit. And and, pro and projected too. Okay, I've made about $90,000 uh, actual and then projected, I'll say, yeah, it's been 140, 
Uh, so right. about a quarter million dollars since you've been with us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think by the end of this year, it's gonna it's just gonna keep going up. 